Where the bloody hell are the things I need to... Oh, there it is. Here's the hyperdrive. Ah, yes, it's sparking, and there are things coming out of it. But no longer! It is functioning properly! So I'll run to the other side of the ship. I really don't know my way around the ship as well as I should. And... We can choose the Star Forge. But first, since it's been about an hour, I am going to save... KBM5, sure, right, why not? I'm gonna save, and exit, and start right back up again in like five minutes when I make sure all of my footage has properly saved. So, see ya in... yeah, really soon. Alright, I'm back, and still I find myself unsure, even though I did a bit of, um, looking up on it, I'm still not sure if I screwed up the Bastila Romance or not. I did... I, I'm not sure. We shall see. But anyway, right now this is more important than that. The Republic fleet must have gotten the message I sent as we were crashing into that planet. I'm picking up a transmission from them now. This is Admiral Fawn Dodonna to the Avon Hawk. Do you read us? Admiral Dodonna, this is Carthanassi. We're receiving your transmission. I'm glad to see you are still alive. We've begun our assault on the Star Forge, but we're taking heavy losses. How did the Sith ever manage to build something of this scope? The Star Forge wasn't constructed by the Sith, Admiral. We don't have time for me to fully explain it, but that space station is far older than you can imagine. Maybe we should pull the fleet back and retreat. I don't know if we have the firepower to go up against this alien technology. You can't do that, Admiral. The Star Forge is a factory of immense power. It's been churning out the capital ships, snub fighters, and assault droids that have powered the Sith war effort. You have to destroy the Star Forge now, or you'll be fighting an unending wave of reinforcements. Then I guess we have no choice. But it isn't going to be easy. I can't even get our capital ships into position to start bombarding the Star Forge. The Sith fleet is too well organized. It's like they can guess our every move and count our every strategy. It's because of Bastila, Admiral. She turned to the dark side and became Malak's apprentice. We suspect she's somewhere on that space station right now, using her battle meditation against you and your fleet. This is Master Vandor. Oh, hey. A number of Jedi Knights have joined our fleet under his command. Wait a minute, didn't Dantooine get destroyed? See this through to the end. And may the force be with you. Nice lingering close up on his face. He kind of sounded like a little Indian guy there, to be totally honest. Kind of like a Puna Hasa Pima Petalon, except not this high pitched. Very much lower pitched. But I cannot do this accent if I am not doing it in this key. Wait a minute, we're just gonna land there? Space is right there, people. Do you think you can breathe space? Yes, yes, I'm going to breathe space. That, that, that sounds like a remarkable plan. And now, with the entire fate of the galaxy hanging on the line, in a, com in a very... very frightening situation, life or death, immediate, everything must 
be done immediately and oh my god it's so I'm gonna talk to Jolie for a little got bit something on your mind dude. ask me later when you're actually in need and I'm less tired I'm not a kit factory though you better not be tired because we're sort of going to the Starforge that whole really important ultra thing that's going on it's, 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 it's kind of important. Actually, I think I'm going to take HK just for fun. You made it. Several Jedi have already gone ahead into the Star Forge. We have to strike while we still have the element of surprise. If we don't stop Bastila from using her battle meditation, the entire Republic fleet will be wiped out. Come on, before they... Damn! So much for catching them unprepared. We'll deal with these Sith. You get into the Starforge and find Bastila. Hurry! Alright, but first, let's chat. Oh. Damn it. How about you? Oh, okay. I didn't actually know that happened. I've never actually tried to, um, chat with people while in combat. It's kind of funny. So how about you? Really? Alright, well I might just cut out all the chatting I've been doing with you if you're just not gonna continue about your wife. That's weird. I assume I'm supposed to go through this door because it's right in front of me. That's one nice thing about this game. You don't have to have any intellect. Just... Die, go straight forward! Die, die. And you'll get there eventually. Ooh, Lord what's Manic, this? A team of Jedi have penetrated our defenses. Their fighters have landed on the Star Forge. This is not unexpected. The Jedi are formidable opponents. Send the Star Forge's battle droids to deal with them. Lord Malak, forgive me, but how can mere droids be a match for the Jedi? You underestimate the power of the Star Forge's droid army. Dispatch the droids. Of course, Lord Malak. Oh God, they're red. The Jedi have invaded the Star Forge. Destroy them. Destroy them all. I can't deal with red droids. It's a good thing I brought one with me. We seem to be surrounded by red droids. Oh. Ah. <laughs> I love that. I'm not sure if you can hear that. HK47 just said, Prejudice set to maximum. Or oh, it's like that. Is it just me, or does he sound kind of like Don Adams, if Don Adams were a robot? No? Just me? Okay. Sure. I suppose that's fair. Still... He sounds... If, if Don Adams were a robot, then I think he would not sound unlike HK-47. By the way, does HK-47 have anything more to say? Statement. HK-47 is ready to serve, Master. I can still try to restore more of your memory? Commentary. That is unnecessary now, Master. Oh, okay. I have been returned to you and my memory core is now fully functional. Statement. My functionality has now been fully restored, Master. I exist to serve Revan as your personal battle droid. In time, my assassination protocol can be restored, and at that point I will once again endeavor to eliminate any meatbag opposition you may have. 